a longtime Wall Street banker is challenging U.S. Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez in New York's June 25th Democratic primary. Well, Marty Dolan is a Westchester County, New York native and will be the far left squad congresswoman's first primary opponent since 2020. The former investor is saying this election will be a referendum on AOC's radical policies. Welcome in Marty Dolan, the Democrat candidate for New York State's 14th Congressional District. Marty, thanks so much for coming on. We do appreciate that. Um, so for our viewers watching around the country, if you could tell us a little bit about yourself, your campaign. Uh, many people very familiar with, with AOC. Um, she's been a firebrand for the far left, as, as many well know. And here you come um, challenging her, primarying her. Why? Because she's done nothing. There's a there's a word in the Bronx for that that I can't use on TV, but um, you know she's done nothing for her constituents in the Bronx, and she's made things worse in Queens. So um, something has to be done, and uh, I just decided to step up and do it. How do you think she's made things worse, in your opinion? You're from New York. You obviously would know uh, again the constituents in that area. So the top issue for New York is that we've had 500,000 taxpayers leave in the last three years. The state controller came out with that report. Uh, we have a 14% marginal income tax rate, which is 4% from New York City, is 10% for New York State. And what the people, every study about income inequality has shown that the, the best thing is to create jobs in your community. It's not the housing, the housing is important, but the jobs are even more important. So in the case of uh, her district, Amazon was going to invest billions of dollars in the district. It was decided they were going to come in. And then she decided that she was going to undo that, uh, which was a disastrous mistake for the people of her district. Hmm. So you've got taxpayers leaving the state of New York, um, but you've got a lot of folks coming in because New York City is a sanctuary city. So there are a lot, <laughs> there are a lot of migrants who are, who are coming in and getting shelter and getting resources and food and support and a place to stay. And we've learned it's now a limited time. So it's set for 30 days, they say, at least for now for those adults. But there's a lot of questions about uh, what is going on with this illegal migrant crisis and ultimately what you might do differently than AOC. Uh, before we get to that, Marty, I just wanted to play some context. Uh, this is a clip from a July 2019 hearing on migrant children and border security. This is an exchange between AOC and Thomas Homan, the former acting immigration customs enforcement director for the Trump administration. Might be an yeah. interesting refresher. Let's watch. You recommended family separation. I recommend a zero tolerance. Which includes family separation. The same as is with every US citizen parent gets arrested when they're with a child. Zero tolerance was interpreted as the policy that separated children from their If parents. I get arrested for DUI and I have a young child in a car, I will be separated. When I was a police officer in New York and I arrested a father for domestic violence, I separated that Mr. father Holman, from his family. Mr. Holman, with all due respect, legal asylees are not charged with any crime. When you're in the country illegally, it's violation 8 United States Code 1325. Seeking asylum is legal. If you want to seek asylum, you go through the port of entry, do it the legal way. He had all the answers there, Marty, as you're listening in. Talk to us about how she views uh, migrants who come into this country illegally and how you see it, how you see it. She's 100 percent wrong, okay? So on top of the fact that she's taking jobs out of the district, now she's saying we can have people from all over the world in the district. And this is not just a few people coming across from Mexico. This is people flying from China. They're coming to Ecuador. They're walking, you know, 2,000 miles. They're getting killed. They're getting robbed. Some they're getting attacked. They're getting turned into prostitution. It's all because of the radical policies. So it's like the, the, I call it the progressive transportation company. What they do is they bring people in on buses who need money and they send people out on airplanes who have the money, which is our taxpayers. It's a complete disaster for New York.